Good morning everybody, thanks for joining Sarah's Cookery Tips. Today I'm going to make some plain scones with clotted cream and jam. What you need to do first off is preheat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius, a fan assisted 200 degrees Celsius, our gas mark 7. Pop inside as well the baking tray, just to get this red hot. So for your ingredients you're going to need 175 ml of milk, 85 grams of butter, 375 grams of self-raising flour, a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, three tablespoons of caster sugar, one egg, vanilla essence and some lemon. Okay, so in first we're going to add the flour, self-raising flour. Then we're going to add the caster sugar, and the teaspoon of baking powder goes in, and the pinch of salt. And here we are adding the 85 grams of butter. need to just rub these this mixture together you're really wanting a crumbly effect it doesn't matter if there's lumps and bumps in it it doesn't matter at all it's just getting a nice crumbly texture don't worry too much if you do find like lumps of butter in it don't worry good 10 seconds or so 15 seconds just getting the mixture right so then we're going to bring the milk in and we're going to add a teaspoon of the vanilla essence in that goes and then we're going to use the lemon a good squirt probably um, nearly five mil again of that and then give it a good stir Going to add the mixture to the to the bowl of flour. Give it a good stir. I'm using a knife here just to gradually mix it all in. Get a nice consistency. If you do find that your mixture is a little bit flowery, you can always add a little extra milk going on what you think. You don't want the mixture sloppy, you want it just so it's nicely formed and come together. So then eventually just get your hands in there, just mix it, everything in together. So you've got a good mixture. So then you just need a bit of flour on your board, stop it from sticking to the board and add a little bit to your rolling pin as well. I'm doing this mixture, it can make up to about eight. So you want to be rolling out your, your dough to um, approximately a centimetre in thick thickness. I'm using the eight centimetre cutter. There's various cutters that you can use, but I think this is a real nice size. There we are, 
then we take the baking tray out of the oven, add the grease proof paper and place them on the tray. Now we're reforming the dough to get some more out, so just uh, makes it a bit better. Okay. So now we're just going to uh, mix the egg and then we're going to baste the scones. It gives it a nice little crisp. It, people sometimes don't baste them and just put them straight in. Uh, but this gives it a nice glaze finish, a little bit crispy on the top. This is the way I prefer, but to say it's optional. You don't have to, to do this. There we go, these go in the oven now for 10 minutes. There we are. And this is what they look like. Smell delicious. Now, you really can let them cool, but uh, sometimes it's just that little bit irresistible to have one straight from the oven. So here I'm putting on the cottage cream and some nice strawberry jam. Delicious. I hope you like this little tutorial. Thanks for joining me guys. Take care, thanks, bye.